What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another top 10 video in a way. This one I'm going to be ranking the main games, the main Dynasty Warriors series games from my least favorite all the way up to my favorite. Before I jump into the video, it's going to be a little controversial. I already know my rankings are going to cause some stir, but like always, let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, this list is just my personal opinion. If you guys want a different video where I rank the games objectively and rank them in terms of like the best games, the fullest games, all that stuff just let me know down below and i can make a separate video for that but this is just my personal list and now i'm just going to rank them in terms of my favorites and i'll explain each one when we get to it so let's go ahead and start off with the bottom all right starting off the bottom we're gonna have dynasty warriors 2 it's pretty self-explanatory it's the oldest of the uh, main game series i'm not gonna include the first game dynasty warriors 1 it's barely you know a dynasty warriors game it just has the title of Dynasty Warriors, but other than that, there's no similarities, and of course, the characters and all that. But Dynasty Warriors 2 is going to start off the bottom for me because of the bare bones Dynasty Warriors, because it was the start of the series, it's not going to have everything that some of the later games got, including the stories and weapons and styles and character developments and all that other stuff. Uh, still a great game, a great introduction into the series, but it's not going to be a game that I particularly am going to want to play right now. As I was replaying through a lot of the characters for the analysis series, uh, this was one of the games I dreaded playing because it was tough. A uh, very difficult game to get through. You had the automatic healing enemies, you had a very difficult AI to go against, and your littlest of mistakes would cost you in this game and it was definitely a challenge but yeah I mean that's pretty much all I have for Dynasty Warriors 2 it's not a game that I would want to jump to play right now it's not something that I would enjoy playing through I did not enjoy playing through for the analysis series but I did what I had to do for each character and that's why it's gonna start off for me at the bottom all right next up this is why I was scared to make this video but we're here already we're gonna reveal it next in line second to last on the bottom I am sorry in advance we have Dynasty Warriors 4 now again objectively it is not a bad game but personally for me it's not a game that I would enjoy replaying like in modern time now it's not a fun game I did not enjoy playing Dynasty Warriors 4 and I actually remember when I was doing the analysis series that I did every single Dynasty Warriors 4 Muso for every character because I was like I need to get this over with <laughs> And for me, it's because uh, it just doesn't feel as fun as the other games around its era. For me personally, the customization is amazing. I love that it included that. I love making my own character, my own bodyguards. The way the story goes, as in terms of like, you can change your characters and it kind of, it's like, it's like the same stages over and over again. That was okay. Honestly, more of a fan of like the individualized story, uh, just for me, because I like to see those different moments for characters and stuff like that. I like the story versus more of, uh, I guess the stage layout in a way. So like Dynasty Wars 5 did a really good job with it. Dynasty Wars 8 was really awesome with it. Even Dynasty Wars 9, not the best game, but it, it, with the individual individualized stories it was just really cool to see characters have their own moments and I've always been a fan of that but Dynasty Wars 4 took a new approach I tried something different right can't make everybody happy for me Dynasty Wars 4 is a game that I do not enjoy playing really at all it's not a fun game for me and I dreaded playing through it for the characters for the analysis series I, I know there's a lot of hardcore DW4 fans out there I don't want to insult the people that have started with that game because the game I started with Dynasty Warriors 3 means a lot more and is a lot more fun versus Dynasty Warriors 4 and I would also want to defend it if people were attacking it as well. No Dynasty Warriors game is perfect, and none of the future games will be perfect either. Uh, but for me personally, Dynasty Warriors 4 is a game that I just would avoid playing. I just, I'm not a fan of it. I would not want to play through it right now unless I absolutely have to. And that's why for me it's going to be towards the bottom of the list. Alright, now the next reveal, my third least favorite or however you want to phrase that, is going to be Dynasty Warriors 9. Yes, Dynasty Warriors 9. I had some, t I was, you know, looking over my list and I was thinking, do I want Dynasty Warriors 9 over Dynasty Warriors 4? And it comes down to which game I would rather play. Which game would I rather play right now? And I would choose Dynasty Warriors 9. Again, I played through every single character, every single story mode for every single main series game for my analysis series. And when I was playing through Dynasty Warriors 9, yes, it was a drag. Yes, it wasn't like the most fun thing to do, especially with certain characters and like how they repeat the same things over and over again. But it's, you know, it's a stagnant game. What else are you going to do? But at least for the ending, 
each character had their own unique individual ending and I got to always find out what that is. I got to see what that was for each character and how it ended for them. Uh, I would play Dynasty Wars 9 now over Dynasty Wars 4. I, I have more enjoyable time with Dynasty Wars 9 versus Dynasty Warriors 4. Again, objectively, it is not a better game. Dynasty Wars 4, hands down, is a 100% better game than Dynasty Warriors 9, but because for me personally, I just, again, enjoy the individual storyline. Dynasty Wars 9 made the game very streamlined, which I appreciate, but it, again, because of that, it made it very easy. And if I had to choose between one or the other, I would definitely be more inclined to play Dynasty Wars 9. I'm rambling. For me, one spot above Dynasty Warriors 4. Next iteration for me, Dynasty Warriors 9 is a good fit here on the list. All right, coming up on the halfway point, let's reveal the next game, one spot above Dynasty Warriors 9, and it's going to be Dynasty Dynasty Warriors 7. Yes, Dynasty Warriors 7, one of the best stories within the games. When it comes to historically accurate, well done cutscenes, very connected characters, and the chemistry was on point, Dynasty Warriors 7 doesn't get beat. I have a similar feeling with Dynasty Warriors 7 that I do of Dynasty Warriors 4. Uh, the reason I do is because I feel like the, the gameplay, the fighting, is a little stagnant within the game. Yeah, they had the weapon switching, but it wasn't revolutionary and it didn't really impact the game at all. I mean, once you you, know, you, you got Zhao Yun, you use the spear, you get the best spear he's got, you're not going to be switching the weapon. I mean, why would you? You want to use his EX attacks, you want to do all that. Um, I thought that was a great addition, by the way. EX attacks were really cool. But for me, the gameplay wasn't enough, or the story, to make me want to play the game right now. Like, I don't find the fun in it right now. Now, back when Dynasty Warriors 7 came out, and when I was a little kid, I was very serious about, like, achievements and all that. So I got all the achievements for Dynasty Warriors 7 and Dynasty Warriors 8, and I got all of them for Dynasty Warriors 6, except for one. But for me, Dynasty Warriors 7 and the Conquest mode, I think it was called, right? Or is that Ambition mode? The one with the map. I forget which one it's called, but it was okay. During the analysis series, I went to Dynasty Warriors 7. I had to go through the stories, of course. Some characters aren't even available in the story, so I had to use that mode to unlock them, then to use them, get the footage, all that stuff. But for me personally, like if I was playing through it, I was streaming one day and I had to pick one of the Dynasty Warriors games to play, Dynasty Warriors 7 and everything else below it is not really on the list for me. I don't find the enjoyment out of it. It's not a game I would pick up just to play or have fun playing, but it was a good game. I couldn't say it was a terrible game or anything like that. It's just for me personally, it's not a game that I would want to jump to play. All right, jumping into the top half. So these four are probably my favorites and I would not mind playing them today or when I did play through them I actually kind of enjoyed myself and personally for me they're just among my favorite you know starting off right before we the top three uh, we have Dynasty Warriors 8 yes Dynasty Warriors 8 argued to be one of the best Dynasty Warriors game currently and I, I don't have any grievances to that notion because it has the historical the hypothetical it's got great gameplay the 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 visuals are amazing. A lot of new characters were added into the game. And for me, it's a, it's a pretty fun game. Again, like I've already mentioned with everything, I did not mind playing through it with the analysis series. I had to stop myself a few times because I got too into it. You know, like, it was just a lot of fun. Again, just like I mentioned, I got all the achievements for Dynasty Warriors 8, did the whole building the city thing. I forget what that was called. But, but for me personally, I think it's a great game. I think it was still fun to play. It still has a lot of replayability in it right now. Uh, still things I probably haven't done on it. And yeah, I just don't mind playing the game. I did not mind playing through it when I was playing the analysis series. I love the individualness combined with the, you know, stages in, from Dynasty Warriors 4. Yes, you had, you know, your specific kingdom route, but you could select the character you wanted. Each character had their own unique kind of feel to them, you know, depending on who it was for the stage. They all had their you know, two cents to give for that stage or whatever it may be. The uniqueness that was found throughout that game was pretty fun. And for me, it's a great game. It's one of the games that I wouldn't mind playing right now. And that's why it's on the upper half of my favorite Dynasty Warriors game. All right, top three. Here we go. We got three games left to rank. Let's see if you guys can guess uh, which order they will be in. Coming in at number three, one of my favorite games from the old era. We have Dynasty Warriors Five. Coming in number three for me, Bronze Medal Dynasty Warriors 5 is going to come in again, like I mentioned, from Dynasty Warriors 4, right? The individual storyline, even though they were fake and hypothetical and yada yada yada, still fun to watch because I'm a sucker for story. I know the history now, I know what happens, I know 
Uh, most of the characters really, really well, what they did in history, their relationships, you know, all that stuff, right? But I just love when the story is just really well done and really fun to watch. There's a unique individualism with each character in Dynasty Warriors 5, from uh, the cutscenes that they're in, the battles they're a part of, of course their ending, uh, the relationships that they have within the game, the way their story goes. It's just so cool to see the different ways that each character from the developer's point of view, how they see the characters and how they would go about ruling the land or bringing peace to the land or still fighting to bring peace to the land or how they would feel towards the end of their own individual story if they live long enough for the Three Kingdoms period, whatever that may entail. But for me personally, Dynasty Wars 5 also began the streamlining process, I would say, for the Dynasty Warriors series. It wasn't as brutish to get through like Dynasty Warriors 4. It was much more streamlined, much more relaxing. You can kind of kind of just have fun and just enjoy yourself playing the game. And that's why for me, it's one of my favorites. And when I went through it for the you know, analysis series, I was more than ready to just hop in because uh, one, I was hunting down cutscenes for every character. I wanted to see uh, who triggered who and you know, how certain events came up and you know, trying to find those little Easter egg cutscenes were always really fun. And then playing with, you know, the weapons that the characters use and having the, I don't know what it's called, but it's the little like circle thing where if you had a full Muso and you, instead of using a charge attack, you just kept spamming square until they go through and they have like a little extra animation for their character and it was just cool. Everyone had their individual unique way of fighting and that's, that's the main point. So Dynasty Wars 5 for me, number three, the reason why is uniqueness individualism not just in terms of the story but the way they fight the way they interact with certain characters the way they have certain relationships it's just dynasty warriors 5 is the epitome of individualism when it came to the dynasty warriors franchise and i really hope they return to that if they stick historically and they want to you know do something similar to dynasty warriors 9 fine give everybody their unique weapons give them something that looks a little different from each character but anyway i'm rambling that's pretty much it top three dynasty warriors 5 one of my favorites, I would not mind playing through that again, and it's just, it was a lot of fun when I went through the analysis series for that. All right, top two, very controversial with my picks, but you know what, we're here, we're doing it. Number two, silver medal, you can hate me if you want, is going to be Dynasty Warriors 6. Yup, Dynasty Warriors 6 is my, I'm sorry, it's my second favorite main series Dynasty Warriors game. It is one of the few comfort Dynasty Warriors games for me. Like I said, I've gotten all the achievements for Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8, and I got all of them for Dynasty Warriors 6 except for one. I forget which one it was. I don't remember what it was, but this is a comfort game for me. I spent so much time playing Dynasty Warriors 6, like unhealthily amount of time. And, and I, I'm not going to say that I wasn't opposed to the changes they made or that I did not like what they did to some of the characters. Like Lu Xun, they changed and made him look weird. Wei Yan and Huang Zhong. And it was just Ga Ning, right? They, they were very... Lu Mong, very different looks and just kind of out of the box and just very weird. However, even with the cloning system and the Renbu and, you know, the problems that Dynasty War 6 had, I genuinely enjoyed the game. I'm sorry, I did. I genuinely enjoyed each individual storyline. Lu Bu's storyline was amazing. Zhang Liao was really cool to see. Shaho Doom, right? If they could do that with all the characters, that, for me, and again, I know, they're all hypothetical, that would be the perfect game because it was so cool to see these different types of relationships. Shaho Doom with Cao Cao. Shaho Doom with Zhang Liao. Cao Cao with Cao Ren, right? You have all these you know, miscellaneous smaller, Guan Ping and Guan Yu had their moments, right? It was just, they have all these miscellaneous smaller characters that don't really have a time to shine, but when they take the individualized stories, whether they're real or not, or based on history or not, they give those opportunities for those characters to become more likable. And that's what I really like about Dynasty Warriors 6. Yes, they were fake. Yes, they had problems with gameplay or the system they brought in, or whatever it may be. I honestly didn't have that big of a problem with the Renbu system, to be honest. It wasn't that big of a deal to me when I was playing it back then. And even now, or you know, playing through the analysis series, or like you know, pushing a character to level 50 because I need a voice line for a different video, I enjoyed it. I, I like getting the Renbu up to the max and seeing the little fire, and then I have the lightning around my character, and then he did like an extra AOE, or by the time you get to the end of the combo and you have flash on your weapon, you can just mow down officers or the doors for the bases really easily. I don't know, I just, for me, I really enjoyed Dynasty Warriors 6. It was one of my favorites. And for me, I can't I can't lie to myself and be like, oh, I know the majority of people are not gonna like Dynasty Warriors 6, so I should put it lower. No, I'm gonna stick to what I believe is the best for me. 
And that's what I've done with my channel. I mean, that's why I make Dynasty Warriors videos in the first place, right? Because nobody else makes these videos. If somebody else wants to make the videos, please make them. I love watching them. I love watching videos like this. Uh, you know, the top tens or just dissecting and analyzing the, the characters and stuff like that. Because it's just, you know, it's a fun game for me. It's just, it's nostalgia. It's It means a lot to me. And I'm, and I'm sure it means a lot to you guys who watch uh, all these videos as well. And for me, I just got to be honest. Dynasty Warriors 6 is one of my favorite games. And that's why it's up here at number two. And with that being said, there's only one game left to review. Dynasty Warriors 3 coming in with the gold medal for me has the replayability of forever. I know everything about that game. I love everything about that game. You know, the music, the characters, the animation. Like the way the characters hit animation is in Dynasty Warriors, the way like they, it slices through people. Just, I don't know. I, I love it. I love everything about the game and everything that it stands for. For me, because for me it represents the beginning of my Dynasty Warriors uh, obsession, I guess. You know, I mean, I'm the again, I'm the, one of the few that make these kind of videos so much for this franchise, and it's because I genuinely enjoy the game. I love the characters. I love what they stand for. It's the game that when I played through again for the analysis series, that I just had a lot of nostalgia with, right? I had a lot of good times remembering as a kid, you know, as Zhang He sliding into a group of enemy and. You know, my dad would be watching me and be like, why are you doing that? You know, and it's just, there's a lot of good memories for me with Dynasty Warriors 3. And replaying through the analysis series reignited that. It, it, it reignited that for me because uh, I don't know how many people have been here since the beginning of my analysis series. But when I first started, I was doing a different game. And, you know, like the analysis series in the beginning was like choppy. So I would do like one video or a few people. And then I would do like, like two months or three months of a different topic and then I would do another analysis video right and it took me so long for me to finish because I kept getting you know off track with it but when I sat down and decided that I no longer wanted to make those are the videos for the money or the views or whatever it may be. My channel was growing rapidly, all that stuff. That was great and all, but uh, my heart wasn't in it. I was burning out from it. I just did not enjoy it. But Dynasty Warriors is something that will remain in my heart forever. I just, I can't shake it. And that's why for me, it's my number one personal favorite. If they remastered the old games, that would be amazing. Just do that, Koei Tecmo. You know, it's just, those games mean a lot to the older fans. And that's why I didn't want to, you know, uh, if you guys are still watching and you know the Dynasty Wars 4 fans are still here, I must you know, apologize and everything like that. Because I know what that game might mean to some of you and uh, it's nothing personal to the game. It's just I don't, per I never personally played that game. When I was a kid, I went from Dynasty Wars 3 and I skipped over to Dynasty Wars 5. I don't know why I couldn't get a hold of Dynasty Wars 4. I played it sparingly because I think my cousin had it, but I, I wasn't able to really attach myself to it. Dynasty Wars 3 I got, Dynasty Wars 5 I got. And then I, as I got older and I became, you know, a teenager and stuff, I requested to get the games. Dynasty Warriors 6, Dynasty Warriors 7, Dynasty Warriors 8, right, for my birthdays, whatever I can get a chance to get them. And then now being older, I can just, you know, pretty much buy whatever I want. So, anyway, I'm rambling again. Dynasty Warriors 3 for me is my personal favorite. The whole franchise means a lot to me, and I'm excited to see what Dynasty Warriors 10 is going to look like. But uh, with that being said, that's all I have for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys don't hate me too much. I put Dynasty Warriors 6 up really high and Dynasty Warriors 4 really low. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. I am open to you know all comments, criticism, whatever you guys think. I really hope people out there, if you guys are content creators, y'all make some similar videos. Not so I can like roast. I just love, I like watching video. I love watching Dynasty Warriors content. It's my favorite game in the world, favorite franchise in the world. And you know, I'm gonna keep making content on this. But yeah, that's all I have, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, leave down your comments below if you guys wanna uh, discuss anything. Who, you know, what's your favorite game? Tell me why. How'd you become a Dynasty Warriors fan? Or you know. Uh, you know, all that good stuff, but uh, that's all I have. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely appreciate it. Like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.